Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the class of 2023 Senior Night, recognizing our band, cheer, volleyball, cross country, JROTC, and football seniors and their families. Seniors, when stepping out onto the field tonight, take a moment to stand quietly and look out into the crowd. Look to your teammates, to your coaches, and to your fellow seniors, and remember the way this made you feel, as this is a feeling you will remember for the rest of your life. Today, and every day moving forward, will be filled with memories that will last you a lifetime. Let tonight serve as a reminder that no matter where you may go in life from this very moment, that you have made a family of your own, and that you have changed the lives of other, others by just simple, simply being in theirs. And now, to recognize our seniors. From the Chatco High School football team, Miss Zoe Sales. Zoe is being escorted by her father, Mr. Jeffrey Sales. Zoe has been the football and basketball team manager for the last two years. She is also the Senior Student Council President, Prom Princess, a member of the student-led leadership team and a work-based learning student. Zoe plans to graduate with her CNA certificate and go to college to earn her degree in sports training or as an ultrasound technician. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Zoe Sales. Mr. Jalen Trevon Brown. Jalen is being escorted by his parents, Sarah Brown and Billy Brown, and his brothers. Jalen has been a member of the varsity football team for four years, the track team for three years, the soccer team for three years, and varsity basketball for two years. Jalen has been named first team all region in football and soccer, and all region team honorable mention in basketball. Last year, Jalen finished 6th in the state in 110 meter hurdles and 12th in the state for high jump. Upon graduation, Jalen plans to continue playing football at the collegiate level and further his education in sports medicine. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jalen Brown. Mr. Isaiah Damon. Isaiah is being escorted by his mother, Elizabeth DeMunn, his nephew, Anthony DeMunn Jr., and his niece, Winter DeMunn. His father, Parker DeMunn, walks with him from heaven. Isaiah has been a member of the football, basketball, wrestling, soccer, and track teams for four years. He is the student leader of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Organization at Chatco. After graduation, he plans to continue playing football at the collegiate level and continue his studies to become a firefighter and EMT. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Isaiah DeMond. Mr. Vincitius Rambo Durham. Vincitius is being escorted by his mother, Juana Josie. Vincitius has played football for Chatco for four years. He also played on the basketball team and has maintained A and B honor roll in his high school career. He was also a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. After graduation, he plans to attend Georgia State University to major in nursing. He hopes to become a traveling nurse in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vitkethius Durham. Mr. Andrevius Bruiser Hall. Andrevius is being escorted by his nephews, and Xavius Richardson and Trayvon Coppett Jr. Andrevius has been a starter for the varsity football team for the past three years. He was named first team all region each of the last two seasons. After graduation, he plans to continue playing football at the collegiate level while furthering his education in criminal justice or sports medicine. Ladies and just gentlemen, Mr. Andrevius Hall. Mr. Tyrone Hamp, Jr. 
Tyrone is being escorted by his brother, Kamiri, Lakeisha Edwards, and Rodney Patrick Sr. While at Chatco, Tyrone was part of the varsity football team. Over the summer, he was a member of the Morehouse Upward Bound program. After graduation, he plans to go to college to study biomedical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tyrone Hamp, Jr. Mr. Joaquin Harris. Joaquin is being escorted by his parents, Lukelik and La Tiffany Harris, and his sister, Savone Harris. Joaquin has been a member of the Chatco football and basketball programs for the last five years. Last year, Joaquin played for the Chatco varsity baseball team. This year, he was named homecoming king. Joaquin has been a member of the CTAE program at Chatco and will earn a cord at graduating in welding. After graduation, Joaquin plans to attend technical college to earn certification in welding and would like to earn journeyman certification. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joaquin Harris. Mr. Jalen Harris. Jalen is also being escorted by his parents, Luke Heldick and Latiphany Harris, and his sister, Sabone Harris. Jalen has participated in football and basketball at Chatco for five years. Jalen was a member of the track team for three years. He won prom prince his junior year. After graduation, Jalen plans to attend Columbus Technical College to earn ASE certification in automotive repair industry. He will intern with Toyota. In the future, Jalen hopes to own a recovery towing business. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jalen Harris. Mr. Eric Josie Jr. Eric is being escorted by Vernicia and his mother, Kashala Hutter. Eric has played football for four years and basketball for three years. While on the basketball team, Eric and his team won the region championship and made it to the final four during his sophomore season. After graduation, he plans to attend Georgia State University to major in business. Eric hopes to start his own clothing brand in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Josie Jr. Mr. Bobby King Jr. Bobby is being escorted by his mother, Miss Barbara King. Bobby is a member of the Chatco football team. He is also a member of the CTAE program and has taken a class in welding and automotive. After graduation, Bobby hopes to continue playing football at the collegiate level and he is undecided on his major. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bobby King Jr. Mr. Slade Parker. Slade is being escorted by his father, David Parker, and his sister, Allie Parker. While at Chatco, Slade has been a member of the varsity football team for four years. He is the vice president of the National Honor Society and vice president of the senior class. After graduation, Slade plans to attend college to pursue a degree in history and education. He hopes to become a history teacher and football coach. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Slade Parker. Mr. Thomas Putnam. Thomas is being escorted by his mother, Jennifer Putnam, and Anissa Bodley. While at Chatco, Thomas has participated in football, wrestling, and soccer. Thomas is earning college credits by taking dual enrollment courses through Columbus Technical College. He is also a member of the CTAE program and will earn a cord for welding. After graduation, Thomas plans to attend West Point. When he graduates from West Point, he wants to become an officer in the military. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thomas Putnam. Mr. Kelvin Simatara. Kelvin is being escorted by his, by his parents, Shane and Kathleen. While at Chatco, Kelvin has been a member of the varsity football team and the Raider drill team. He has carried a 3.8 GPA throughout his high school career. Kelvin has also been named a football team captain and a leader amongst his peers at Chatco. 
After graduation, Kelvin plans to join the Army. He wants to go to college to earn a degree in kinesiology, and his ultimate goal in life is to become a professional bodybuilder. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kelvin Simatara. Mr. Cameron Swanson. Cameron is being escorted by his parents, Miss Keisha Swanson and Miss Maurice Mentor. While at Chatco, Cam has played on the varsity football team and basketball teams for three years. He is also a member of the FCCLA. After graduation, he plans to attend college to major in business administration. His career goal is to work in real estate. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cameron Swanson. From the Chatco High School Cheer Program, Miss Jasmine Lewis. Jasmine is being escorted by her parents, Miss Shauna Lewis and Mr. Isaiah Lewis. She has been a cheerleader for Chatco for the past four years. This year, she was named cheer co-captain. Jasmine has also been part of the dance team for two years, and she has been the student council secretary for her class during her juniors and senior years. After graduation, she plans to attend college and major in education to become an English teacher. She plans on becoming a certified English teacher and traveling abroad to teach in non-English speaking countries. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jasmine Lewis. Miss Selena Torres. Selena is being escorted by her parents, Miss Sarah Torres and Mr. Jose Torres. Selena has been a member of the varsity cheerleading team for the past two years. This year, she was named co-captain of the cheer team. Selena has also been a member of the soccer team for three years and yearbook for three years. She has earned college credit by taking dual enrollment classes through Columbus Technical College. She is also a member of the CTAE program, earning her certification in certified nursing assistant. After graduation, she plans to attend college for nursing and would like to become a travel nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Selena Torres. <laughs> Miss Shell Peebles. Shell is being escorted by her mother, Miss Gina Peebles. While at Chatco, Shell has been the mascot during football games. She is also the president of the FBLA a rifle team member, and a work-based learning student. Shell manages the, manages the school store each day. After graduation, she plans to attend a community college and then Oregon State University. She would like to become a member of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Shell Peebles. From the Chatco High School Band Program, Miss Jenna Berrios. Jenna is being escorted by her parents, Miss Tiffany Landenberg and Mr. Kenneth Landenberg. Jenna has participated in band for four years at Chatco. In 2018 and 2019, she received the Director's Award for Band. Being part of the band is a huge part of Jenna's life. She is also a member of the National Honor Society and a member of the student-led leadership team. After graduation, she plans to continue her band career at the collegiate level. She wants to study music education and one day become a high school band teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jenna Berrios. Miss Paige Campos. Paige is being escorted by her parents, Miss Jennifer Campos and Mr. Isaac Campos. Paige has participated in band as the drum major for four years. She has participated in volleyball for the last three seasons. And this year, she was the volleyball captain. She participated in track and field for three seasons. Paige has been part of the JROTC program for four years, the drill team for three years, and the rifle team for four years, and was named rifle team captain. She is the executive officer for the Panther Battalion. Other accomplishments for Paige include being a member of the student-led leadership team, National Honor Society president, finalist on the homecoming court, all-by city for rifle team, honor roll for four years, student of the month twice, 
and Perfect Attendance Award. After graduation, Paige plans to attend a four-year university on an ROTC scholarship. She would like to earn a bachelor's degree in health and physical education. She hopes to become an athletic trainer in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Paige Ampos. From the Chatco High School volleyball team, Miss Anaya Carter. She is being escorted by her parents, Miss Tracy Carter and Mr. Tashawn Carter, Sr. She has played volleyball for two years. She also runs track for Chatco in the spring. She is a member of the National Society of High School Salt Scholars. After graduation, Anaya plans to attend Texas A&M to major in biochemistry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Anaya Carter. From the Chatco High School Cross Country Program, Mr. Noah Moran. Noah is being escorted by his coach, Coach Glenn Copeland. Noah is a member of the cross country team at Chatco. In his short time of running cross country, his time in the mile has dropped by two full minutes. He has also been a member of the Raider team for the last two years. After graduation, Noah plans to join the Army and would like to work in communications and technology. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Noah Moran. From the Chatco JROTC program, Miss Isabella Keogh. Bella is being escorted by Miss Brooke Rumford. Bella is the female color guard commander. She also participates on the drill and raider teams, which are both nationally ranked. Bella is also a member of the cross country team, which finished first in the region this year. She also plays for the varsity soccer team. Bella is a member of the National Honor Society and the student-led leadership team. Bella was named Chatco's homecoming queen for 2022 and 2023. After graduation, Bella plans to attend college and be part of the RO, excuse me, and be part of ROTC at the collegiate level. After college, Bella plans to join the military and pursue a career in journalism. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Miss Isabella Keo. Mr. James McAdams. James is being escorted by his parents, Ms. Laura McAdams and Mr. Matthew McAdams. James has been part of the JROTC program for the past four years. He is the male color guard commander. James also participates on Chatco's nationally ranked drill and raider teams. He also runs for the cross country team, which qualified for the state meet this year. After graduation, James plans to enlist in the Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. James McAdams. Mr. Philip Zane Toms. Zane is being escorted by his father, Mr. Jason Posey. Zane has been a member of the JROTC program for the past four years and a member of the Color Guard for three years. He is the captain of the drill team, which ranks 17th at the national drill competition. Zane is also the captain of the Raider team, which recently competed at state, and they placed for the first time in school history. Zane has played varsity baseball for four years. While being involved in all of these programs, Zane has been able to maintain a 3.7 GPA throughout his high school career. After graduation, Zane plans to join the Army. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Philip Zane Tom. Mr. Thomas Weaver. Thomas is being escorted by his parents. Mrs. Tammy Weaver and Mr. Thomas Weaver Sr. Thomas has been part of the JROTC program for the last four years. He is also a member of the Raider team, drill team, and color guard. Thomas also ran cross country one year at Chatco. He is a member of the Civil Air Patrol. While doing all of these things, Thomas has been able to maintain over a 4.0 GPA during his high school career. After graduation, Thomas plans to go to college and then commission into the military as an officer. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thomas Weaver. On behalf of the coaching staff, school administrators, and the entire Panther family, we thank all of our seniors for their commitment to their program. Congratulations, seniors, and one heartbeat. All right.
right, and welcome back to the Chaco County versus Central. T welcome to the Chaco County versus Central Tableton game. I'm your host Matthew Shields. You all have the luxury of it being just me for right now, but hopefully we might be able to get a few more uh, commentators in. We might be able to get a few interviews. We can hope. But tonight is the last home game for seniors. This is senior night for Chaco. It's a very exciting time for seniors, but also for some, it's also a sad time because this might be this could potentially be the last time that they step on a field. It's, you know, it's a very serious moment, and I think while the seniors want to have fun, they also want to win. So we have a really great game versus Central Tobleton. Uh, it's looking, it looks pretty, I, I was able to see the Panthers uh, practicing before the game, and they just really looked determined, you know. They, they, they were able to keep their head in game, they were able to stay focused, they were able to just be a Panther, I guess. So that was... Uh, it was really amazing to see, and you can just look out into the crowd right now and just feel the the team spirit. You know, you can just feel the the togetherness. You know, the one heartbeat, as uh, so many people like to say. You can just feel it, and it's it's amazing to see. Like you have the band who always there every single day, ready to hype up the uh, crowd or hype up the ba uh, the players, and then you just have the parents, the parents who come here every single game. They're willing to donate food. They're willing to donate time. They're willing to donate drinks. They're willing to donate anything just to make it so that their students or that their football players have a chance to play. So it's a really exciting uh, game tonight. I would also like to give a shout out to our film team, our film uh, filmographers. Uh, but I'm gonna send it over to the Greer video really quick. We're gonna we have a really cool prime commercial that I'd like to show you. All right, Coach Gurr, I want to ask you a couple of questions. So what do you think the outcome of this game is going to be? I think we do what we're supposed to. And the outcome could be on our side, defense, and we'll, we'll take care of a great victory here. We just got to do what we're supposed to take care of ourselves. All right, and uh, who do you think is going to be the MVP of this game, if I may ask? There's a lot of bodies out here. It could be a, a good number of people. So, I mean, it's not really – that could be a, whoever has a great night tonight. We have a, great, a lot of great athletes. All right, and I want to ask you this final question. Checo's defense, what do you think they can best improve on? Well, we got 26 turnovers this year. We picked up. We got be taking the ball away from the other team 26 times. That's pretty solid. If we come, we can build on that type of theory and add about four more. That make us 30. That'd be three per game for 10 games. That's pretty solid. That's perfect. And what defense? What can you improve? That's that's line up and take it down. Run it. That's line up. And run the ball better and, and and make some great decisions with the ball when we throw it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That was an amazing right, Coach Greer, video, I want to ask you a couple of uh, questions. So, Coach Greer, and I'll tell you, when I walked up to interview him, I felt intimidated. Like, I, I was almost scared to ask the questions. So I can only feel, like, how the other team's going to feel if that was just one coach, how the entire team will make them feel. Uh, just looking out into the crowd right now, I can see all these Chaco Panthers. All of them have a smile on their face. All of them are excited. All of them are ready for today's game. I'll tell you, I'm ready for today's game. You can see the band for Tobleton on the other side uh, lining up, ready to uh, cheer on their own Tobletons, I guess you can call it. But our band, you know what? I think our band can, I think our band got this. I think that they can give a little bit more pep, give a little bit more cheer. And on cheering, we also have the cheerleaders taking the field. Cheerleaders who come here every single game, cheerleaders who always have energy. I mean, like, even during the games and even at school, they just have so much energy. And it's just, it's amazing that they have the right mindset to be able to come here every day and cheer well not every day every game and cheer on uh, the football player it's just I mean it's amazing to see you can see some of the seniors taking pictures because they know that you know it just they, this could possibly be the last game this is a very serious game uh, and it could be Chaco some of the seniors at Chaco's last uh, just some of the seniors uh, I'd like to point out I mean you have J uh, Jalen Brown Jalen Brown yeah, I mean he was in varsity football for four years so that was amazing in and of itself but I would also I also want to point out the managers I mean you have Zoe Sales who's constantly there always trying to help you know always wanting to just be a resource for the uh, for the football players but it's not just that you also have so many others who aren't seniors like uh Forgive me if, I, if I'm not pronouncing your name, it's Saibun, but I, uh, I always see her here. She's always playing. But our Chaco Panthers are taking the field right now. 
If Slade, number 77, you know, looking ferocious, he's ready to play. Number 35, I mean, you got all of them. I mean, you can just see that they look so determined. Like, this is like something you would see out of the NFL or any other major league sports. Like, they just look like they aren't here. They aren't here to play a game. They're here to play. Like, so it's really serious. 30, number 10. Ready to take the field, ready for the uh, the refs. I also want to count out the refs. I mean, the refs, they don't get paid. They just do this for the heart of the game, and that's amazing. You know, like, especially nowadays, nowadays with all of the the rising prices and all that, just to be able to do something for the spirit of the game, it's amazing. It really is. Keep walking up. You have number... Uh, you have Andravius Hall, you have Eric Josie, you have Jalen Brown, but we also can't count out Cameron Swanson, ready to walk up, ready for the coin toss. Make, make your bets at home, folks. What do you think it's going to be? Heads or tails? Check goes Captain Sky. Number one, Andravius Hall. Number eight, Eric Number two, man. Shaking hands, showing good sportsmanship, because that's what we do here at Chaco. You know, we play hard, we play ferociously, but we're also good teammates, right? We're good sports mates. We're just really, we're just really respectful, all right? Because our team, we get it. We understand what it's like to be an underdog, and we understand what it's like to have to, you know, fight hard for a game. So I think that that's really helpful. Point is in. Number 22. And see the rest of the uh, football team ready to break through the banner in the back there. See the cheerleaders lining up, ready to cheer them on. Looks like, yeah, coaches taking the field. You can see Ryan McKenzie down there. You can see uh, Coach Greer taking the field. What was it? Yep, we're turning back to their teammates. You have the... Uh, Seniors returning. You can just see the football players so excited to break through that banner. They do it almost every single game, but I mean, it never gets old, does it? I know I'd be excited to go through that. You can see the cheerleaders excited, ready to, ready to just get them, get them ready for the game. You know, because that's the thing with Chaco. We all use each other as resources to be able to just advance and just be in a good mindset. And I think that's really, that's really awesome. You have the parents having signs. That's see, that's something you don't see a, a lot of major schools. They're breaking through the banner right now. Slay Parker. Carrying flags. So excited. Team, look, Team Spirit, if I've ever seen it, folks. Team Spirit. Cheerleaders running after them. Isaiah DeMond showing, look, no one is taking that flag away from Isaiah. I'll tell you what. My man is ferocious with that. I think we're just ready for a good game today. I know I am. I, I, I can tell from the parents are ready for a good game. I can tell from the cheerleaders ready for a good game. I can tell from the teachers, from our own film staff that we're ready. Wow, these guys take the field. I just want to point out, we have our own film passes now. Uh, this, that's neither here nor there, but we have our own media passes. So, what's that? And here they are. Taking the field, you have Chat Co. and Tableton. Start of the quarter, start of the first. You have. Who would have thought? Look, a small little town in central Georgia, you never would have thought that we would have this much spirit, this much uh, parent participation, this, many, this much class participation, but really we do, and it's amazing to see.
34 being being Aiden Marcellus ready for the uh, return. Not the return, the pump, my bad. So let's get ready. He's, he's, get, he's analyzing the field, analyzing the field, thinking about which, what's the best way to play this, runs up, and it's a good kick. They're gonna run it, and tackled at about the 20. It was a really good, uh, really good play, a Chaco. Really great play. Uh, honestly, just from the first play, you can tell. Like you can just see the players getting really excited, getting really ready. Swanson in on the stop, we've got a flag on the play. Chaco's defense taking the field, ready to go against the Central Templeton's offense. Snap the ball from Templeton, throws it to, oh, interception from number uh, one. Andrevious Hall takes it back for a touchdown. That's a pick six, everyone. Second game. Second game and you have a pick six. What are the chances? What are the chances? That was an amazing play by Andrevious Hall. Second play, I can't get up that. If that's any indication of what this game's gonna be, Get ready, folks, because it's going to be an amazing game. You can just see the excitement after that. Amazing play. Amazing play. You can see uh, Central Tableton's offense is a little uh, little, little hurt. A little hurt after that play. Uh, I'd be, too. But here we have the uh, kicker, number 31. Number 31, that would be going up for the extra point. Number 34, my bad. Ada Marcellus going up for the extra point. Up, oh, ref threw a flag on the play. Offsides on Talleton. Calling offsides. Yep, yeah, looks like they were calling offsides. Uh, not sure who that was on. It looks like it might have been Central Talleton. But nonetheless, Aiden Marcellus is going up, going ready for that extra point. He looks ready. He looks ready. Will he be able to do it, though? Everyone's watching. Everyone's watching in sheer anticipation. Goes for the snap and kicks, and it's good. That is seven points. Second, technically third play, seven points for Shaka. I mean, look, I'm not going to jinx it because, like, I don't. I believe in jinxing and all that. I don't want to jinx it. But if that's any indication, I mean, Central Templeton has themselves a really, really intense, really intense game ahead of them. Going back, I mean, Chaco's going for the return again after that uh, incredible pick six by Andravius Hall. Going back for that return. Now, look. I'm not, look, I don't want to throw any shade, but I just want to say Central Toppleton looked like they were slacking at first. Now, they look like they're ready. They realize, hey, Chaco's, just because they're a small town doesn't mean that they aren't ready. Doesn't mean that they can't play. So, I think now they're ready. Let's see. 34, going up the punt. 34, of course, being Ada Marcellus. Lines them up, lines them up. 
ready for the return. Goes for it. Nice kick, nice kick. And they're catching it. They're running up past the 10, going to the just just shy of the 20. Gets tackled at about the 18 or 19, just around there. That was a good good defensive play, good defensive play. Really nice. Uh, offense on ta uh, Central Tableton. Yeah, it's give or take, give or take. I mean, could have seen better, could have seen worse. I'll say that. Could have seen better, could have seen worse. All the way back at what, uh, what looks like uh, from here about the... At the at the 19, I think that's or 15th, something somewhere around there. Yeah, just about the uh, just about the 16th. Central Tableton, number 65. We uh, going up center. Yeah, Andreas Hall looks. He's looking to get another pick six. Snaps the ball, and that's a sack. Looks like a sack in the pocket. Look, Central Tableton. Is that all? Look, I don't want to look. I don't want to count you all that too short. But is that all? Come on. Up twenty-two, going back up. It's gonna be. Looks like they're in a huddle currently. Central Tableton. Looks like our team's just wait, waiting for them to be up. I was incorrect in that last play. All right. Back up at the line. Jacko Panthers trying to trying to do them. Snaps to Central Tableton quarterback, and it is a sack. It is a sack. I guess I look. I guess Tableton's quarterback got a little bit too much heat. He couldn't handle it, and you know what? If you can't handle it, get out of the kitchen. That's all I'm saying. Central Tableton. Our players really knowing where to go, knowing where to run, knowing where to tackle, knowing their best uh, best way to play. Honestly. That's really amazing. You see them going back on the field. Central Tableton looking utterly defeated, but the Chaco Panthers ready to see if they can uh, turn this over. Snap to the quarterback. Caught and down at around the 11th. Caught at the 11th. Uh, I don't know if they're going to call this first down or not. Brings up the fourth down and long. Say first down. First down? Yep. down the quarter. Running up, running up, 45, 45, running back, running back, okay. Whoa. Still stopped at the 40, unfortunately. That is very unfortunate. You see that pick six right there? That oh, got I in saw there? that pick six. I was excited for that. But I mean, look, I don't think we can continue without introducing you. We have Mr. Gavin Profit back on. He was a little late, but we are going to talk about that. Just a little late. Hello. He, he's here to commentate. Nonetheless, we have... I don't know. I want to hear your opinion. Did you see any bit of the game? You also saw the pick six. I, yeah, I saw the pick six. I mean, it was it was a pretty good introduction. First thing I saw when I walked in here, actually, I was speed racing past the ticket booth, and uh, it was it was a good good thing to start off with. It's really great. Now our defense taking the thing, taking. I'm oh, sorry, taking the field. My bad. My bad. We should have another offense, commentator my, here my shortly. Huh? We should have another commentator showing up here shortly. Should check those offense sending it to. Uh, Ooh, running, going to the 30, the 20, the 10, and that's another touchdown another for Jackson touchdown. already. Another really? touchdown, Number four, that's going to be now Brenton Jackson. BJ. BJ. He's had a good season. Little man does got some speed on him. Little man got some speed on him. Little man does have some speed on him. Look, two touchdowns. First, like, five minutes. First five minutes. First five minutes. Look. Who got the first one? Who got the first one? Uh, I believe that was... It was intercepted by Dravius Hall. Oh, right nice. Yeah, and yeah. He's had a good season this year, too. He really has not Ada Marcellus got that first point. Nice. Got that first point. Looks like it's Marcellus. Yeah, Ada Marcellus back up. Let's see if he can get Let's see if he can get another one. I personally think he can do it. He's the only person who kicks off. He's amazing. He's amazing. Let's see. Caleb Floyd. Pulling it 
down. Goes back. Oh, oh, oh my God. Runs it. Runs it for the two point. Come on. Come on. Stop. Barely. Just barely. Barely. That wasn't even one yard, I don't think. Marcel, it was less than it was inches. 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 That's crazy. Look. We're going to be looking at the TV a lot. This angle here is kind of kind of yeah, iffy. It's going to get a little further in. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's the thing. You make mistakes in sports. The way that they're playing, that's not going to cost them too much later on, hopefully. But it's, we're going to have to see the way they play. Yeah, Shaq for sure. going back in. They're going to talk a little bit. Referee running back up. Shaq returning back to Central Tableton. Central Tableton huh. looking a little bit more. I don't know if you see if you notice this, Gavin, but I I notice that they're a little bit more serious now after that. Are they? I, I see that in mainly the coaches. Where? Whoa! Is that? Where's the rest of their team at? I, they only have they two. Brought, they only have two subs. That's all they brought. Look. That's need, crazy. You need to bring more. To go no, chat no, now. for sure. You need to bring more. We have probably double their team. That's even being generous right there. Yeah. Senior night. Marcellus, you already know he's back at it. Ma look, Marcellus is going to get it every time. Every time. Every time. Marcella going up for the uh, return. Back to Tableton, runs up. Boom, decent baby. Kick, decent kick. Over to Tableton, it's caught. Caught by number 10. 10. Two. All the way up to the 20. He looks like he's getting, oh yeah, he's getting stopped dead in his tracks there at that 20. He might have oh, gone uh, two extra yards over. I, I would say that about two extra yards, give or take. With all members of the Chattahoochee There's been about two or three returns. They haven't gotten past the 20. They haven't, really. They really haven't. I mean, oh. I think they might have gotten to the 20. The That's that Checo D. That's the Checo D. Checo D. Checo D. Look, I should, look. No one should question Chaco's defense, but you definitely shouldn't question their offense either. For sure. It's, it's nothing to reckon with. That's for sure. It really isn't. Because... Checkers defense. Checkers defense coming up. Ooh. Trying to go against Tableton's offense, which hasn't been too uh, too challenging. Oh, Looks is like that a flag? Flag. What was that for? It wasn't for encroaching, was it? False start? I'm not sure. I don't know, but it looks like they got a five yard. Let's see. False start against Tableton. Well, look. Oh, my God. All I know. Is that a five yard or a ten yard penalty? Uh, that was looking a little bit like a 10 yard. All I know is, yeah. Tableton got less, got more to go through. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. Chaco's got less than defense. Fine by me. <laughs> Fine by me any day. Fine by Gavin. Uh huh. That needs to be on a shirt. <laughs> Fine by Gavin. Tableton. Uh, looks like is that a sack? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Number it was 22. a weird play to say the least. Number 22 just ate dirt. That's all I know. Weird play to say the least. Well, I have to say. Uh, it looks like they're talking about it. They're talking about it, all right. Dang, only eight minutes left. Home team, 13. Guest, zero. Look, that's not... Look, I'm just I'm just kind of, like, in shock because of that pick six. Like, I'm still... I'm sorry, that's going to sound so repetitive. I'm still on that pick six. Yeah. Like, it just... It happened so early, but you see the... Tableton's offense run around. Direct throws it, and it's oh, caught, caught at, looks like at the, exactly at the 20 or the 19. Yeah, it looks exactly on the 20. Exactly 10 on the yards. 20. Yeah, that's going to be first down. Ooh, first down, and then got 10 yards off of it. You know, I think some of these uh, football players know that it's their senior night and know that it's going to be their last season. I think they're trying to make it their best, you know? I think that's really, like, uh, what would you think if you were in that situation? Like, could be your last game. It's, it's always a scary thing. It really is always a scary thing because that's just next year. Exactly, and then it's just never again. All right, we're going back. <laughs> Look, the way this game has been interesting, I don't think anything can be more interesting than our very own mascot Nine, joining the break. Right now, we have Shale Peoples, fresh off of the senior night. Shale, what do you have to say about this game, especially that pick six that you saw? I am so impressed right now. I Recently, I've seen this team not functioning as a team, but tonight it has really changed. We have a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a unit. It is a unit. Up. Tableton throws. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, number oh, 21. Ooh. Not letting oh, go. Not letting go. Oh, my there God. Go. Number 21 absolutely trips him up. BJ takes the uh He the was finisher. trying to tank there. Yeah. Look, 21 the set the bait. 21, of course, line. being Japan Ellington, takes the bait. Uh -huh. Guess hook, line, sinker. Hook Just line like sinker. that. Very important game here. 
I'm not going to be in here for long because mom's currently trying to get me a safety pin to pin me up and make uh, me all good to uh, go out there. We got a paper clip. Ah, nah, safety pin, man. Look, mascot, you have to be at the sides of, on the sidelines. I, I'd have taken that. If I were They've been looking like they're planning. They need to. They're trying to think about what they're going to do next. They need to start planning. Because I don't think I don't think that they're. What was that? It, that was they lost yards from that. Yeah, it looks like they lost five yards. I wasn't even paying attention. Just about, just about. Snap so snap. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. send it to. Oh intercept. my God! Nice, nice. Interception. Nice. Interception. Nice. interception. They're gonna make for the pick six. Running back. Oh. No nope. stop at stop. around the. What is that? The 15? Looks yeah. like the 15. Yeah. Who was that? That was number eight. That was Eric no. Jones. Eric. I think it was the 20. Eric. I don't, I don't know. know Eric Josie going in for that. Kind of hard to see him up here. Kind of hard. Oh, just, at, just after the 20. So, yeah. Just after the 20. So, yeah, just around 15. I'll tell you. When I saw Eric's hand go up and grab that ball, my first thought was, he's not actually doing it. And then he actually did it. He actually did it. It was, it was amazing. One hand catch, too. Like, it's awesome. You know, that's funny. I saw him practicing the one hand catch over here, and I was like, oh, as if he's actually going to use it. He actually used it, folks. He likes to show off. That's for sure. I'm honestly pretty impressed with this being my senior night game as well. I am. I couldn't have asked for another great senior night game. Being the Panther, I get to see these guys close up, interact with them, and talk with them, along with the cheerleaders, and they're so excited for every single game. Yeah, that's that's, that's very really nice. How do we have a different? Uh, it looks like Aiden's taking a sideline on this one. Who's? Yeah. We got Eric as the quarterback. Oh, 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 yellow flag! Yellow flag! Yellow, yellow flag! flag. Flag on flag. Looks like we're gonna have a yard penalty on that one. Yard penalty. penalty. Is five yards. Hmm. Yep. So since it, yep. Who had the flag? Did we oh, get that was flag? a track because they're moving back. It yep. looks like that's maybe a five-yard penalty. Yeah, that was a five-yard from the 20 to 25. All right, that's not, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Chaco's um, still in it. Got Slade Parker in there. You already know up, Big 77. You know Slade's not, If you got oh, Slade, you're not oh getting past God. Slade. I was trying to go so hard to see that in real life, I almost fell off. Nice. That was an amazing, amazing touchdown by Jalen Brown. Wow, two touchdowns in the game already, and it's so hey, look early. It. We're gonna call that three, because there was that pick six. There was oh. this interception. Look, I, I was talking to uh, who was I talking to? I don't. I, 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 it might have been um, Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. One of the coaches. One of the coaches, and I was asking him about their defense. What can they improve on? And he said, Look, if you've ever seen our defense, you know that while they can improve, they're pretty good, or yeah. something along those lines. And I think that's pretty much just shown it right there. If I were to say that anyone could be ab an absolute barricade when it came to defense, that is Slade Parker. Slade Parker all oh, the way yeah. out. And Marcel is going up for that uh, extra point again. Nice kick and nice. it's it good. Makes it. Nice, it's good. It's good. Wow. It's good. 20-0 and we're still in the sixth minute. That has cemented us. What is it? In the running. Oh, and that was uh, pretty bad. <laughs> Look, I don't think we caught that on camera. I don't know about y'all, but Central Tableton, if I was them, I'd be scared to go into that uh, that room, that locker room with the coach. Oh, afterwards. I would be terrified. Look, half half, half, half time is going to be crazy. I'm honestly kind of scared for them in half time. <laughs> half time, they're going to be. Look. But look, that's football. Sometimes you do good, sometimes you don't. Oh, let's just be glad we're doing good on our senior exactly. night. Exactly. <laughs> There's definitely one side that you want more than the other. Yeah. But. Honestly, I'm going to be sad to see Slade go being his senior year as well. Oh, I am too. Because last year there was uh, Slade and Eddie, that were <laughs> yeah. absolute impenetrable <laughs> duo. And uh, now you're going to, there goes both the walls. It's going to be sad to see the uh, the team rebuild after this year. Well, hey, you know, at least you're going out with a bang. For sure. The, the rebuild this year was actually pretty, pretty striking to me. Huh. Ada Marcellus going up for the return. Goes up, runs up, kicks. Nice. nice kick, nice kick, nice kick. Every and time. they're going to run it past the 10. They're going to go past the 20. Stop him, stop him, stop him. And they're nice. stopped at the 30. Just around the 30. That's about the farthest they've gone. And that's not like a bad, that's not a bad yard distance. It's not the best, though. You obviously could do better. You obviously could go all the way to the, to the end zone. Yeah. But honestly, we're talking about them. We're the ones that are winning. Yeah. I mean, look. look we don't want to count our ducks for. We don't want to count our eggs. We don't. You know what I'm trying to say. You don't want to count. You 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 don't want to count your ducks before the eggs hatch. Yeah, there we go. Or something, something like, like that. that. But chances of luck. 
one thing about that foot on Aiden is it is consistent. Oh, it yeah. is. You hit laces to laces, and that thing's going at least 50 yards. At least. At least. At least. Was it just me that was surprised to see Kelvin on the team this year? Kelvin? Yeah. I, mean, I didn't know he was playing this year, but I, I guess didn't he either. Was. The only I, thing I, I know about him is he works that. at uh, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> what, is it, what is it called? It's, uh, Panda Express, Panda that's Express. what it is. <laughs> oh, oh, interception. Oh, 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 oh they fumbled, fumble. too. Fumble. 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 My bad, my bad, it was a fumble. Who was that guy? It was by? an interception sure. and a fumble. Inter- an and interception a fumble. fumble. An, an, an inter fumble. fumble. It's an inter fumble. An inter fumble. Well, every time they cut back to our faces, we're over here upon, like, <laughs> we're absolutely oogling at the TV. <laughs> we're in wonder, because, like... It's kind of hard to see from this angle. We got to reach over, and it's really accessible. Having here, right having there. this be this is such a. Look, I'm I'm kind of I kind of want to see Central Toppleton's defense. Like, when are we going to see their defense? That's yeah. mostly been oh offense. yeah, mostly been offense. We have had really no time for their defense. Offense taking the field. I'm gonna lose it out there on the field because this is just gonna get better. Yeah. You have Josie, Eric Josie, in QB. You got your. You got your Slade Parker snaps it back to Eric Josie. Josie sends it into the end zone, and it is. Oh, Ooh, unfortunately, it is not caught. It looks so like close. that. Looks like that throw was uh, intended for Cameron. Yeah. Yeah, he threw it a little bit too deep there. A little too deep. Hey, it's not. You still have three more drives. All right. There's always something that you wish you could have caught or wish you could have done. Always. The play you wish you could have made. And if you yeah. dwell on that, that's just going to lead you to It's just going to bring you exactly. down. Exactly. And that's what the, that was the earliest problem with the team this year. Yeah. And now I'm seeing that we're actually starting to like be a real team. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You can see the sportsmanship. Josie coming up. Looking ready as ever. Ready to take that. Going up. Ready for the snap. Slade Parker playing center, snaps Ooh. it back to Eric Josie. Looks like he gives it, Ooh. oh, who did he hand it off to? He handed it on off to uh, Norvell, Norvell Maddox. Maddox. Norvell. Norvell. Norvell tries to run it through the center. Norvell. Gets stopped at around like one Marvell. It does a little. How much did they, they got like what, uh, three yards? Three yards it looked three like. Three yards, something like that. Wasn't our best play, but it wasn't our worst play. Wasn't, yeah. Definitely not exactly. our worst. Oh, there's mom. Uh, wish me luck with the kids pulling up my tail constantly. <laughs> we, we wish you luck. We wish we you luck. Yeah. I'll see sure. you guys later, hopefully. Yeah, see, well, uh, we'll to see you later, too. Fresh air of, uh, I mean, a fresh breath of AC. Fresh breath. Slave burger going on center. Sounds back to Eric. Oh, uh, they're, looks they're like they're doing it. another run. Running. Maddox oh. running back. Oh, oh my God. Running Hispanic. Right and it looks like that down. right into, right into the, the end zone. zone. Oh, my God. This touchdown, baby. Today's our lucky day. Are we in the twilight zone? We're like, in the twilight Halloween, zone. I know Halloween just passed. No. Are we still in the twilight we're zone? We're in the end zone, baby. <laughs> we're in the I'm end telling zone. you. <laughs> Look. I'm going to pass this over. I, I've said this so many times. I don't want to keep saying it. When are we going to see Tableton's defense? When are we going to see him? Not anytime soon. Look, may, uh, maybe we've seen him on three or four drives. But Marcel is going up for that extra point. I tell you what, they're breaking our necks this game. They I'm really, ready for halftime so we can switch sides. We really are. We really are. Hey, Marcellus wouldn't rather have anybody else kicking. You really wouldn't. You really then, wouldn't. After so, many t- after so many times of him kicking, there's really not much else to say. Y'all know about him. You really, you, y'all know about him. Y'all know. Do we even need to commentate? You, we don't. We really well, don't. Do we even need to commentate? I'll tell you. I, I would have Marcellus, one Marcellus, Ada Marcellus, over ten Tableton guys. For sure. Ten well, top-team. it looks like that's all they have on their team, ten Tableton guys. <laughs> they would be without a team. Yeah. That is amazing. Chaco's defense taking the field again, trying to return. I apologize, special teams number 34, Marcellus, going for the return. Return. After that amazing kick, getting that extra point. I'm ready for it. I bet you. I bet you 10 bucks to go straight to the 10 yards. Oh, that's a bad. I'll lose any day. Any day. Any day. Any day. I think we want to shout out some of our band members, too. They come here. They don't get as much recognition as they should, but you know what? They play hard and they get us excited. For sure, mid uh, halftime too. They do a little, uh, a little show sometimes. I'm for that show. We got our Checo cheerleaders here today, so we got some seniors on there. The we also have, oh, we have Checo film here today too, don't we? <laughs> With our, uh, lied. It was a false alarm. We got the the Checo Panther back. I lied. Marcellus going it in. Is he gonna? Is he gonna no. send the deep? Looks like he's sending consistently to the ten yard line every oh, time. That's a ten. They already Running know where that's a ten. It's a twenty. They're gonna stop him at the 20. Ooh, nice. Dead in his tracks. Yeah, 22 it looks like. It's about the 22. Look, Marcellus, uh, we're not calling them MVPs right now, but he's a really good 
Contender. Very good. good contender. If we're talking about uh, band members, we have to talk about Jenna because she's one of the seniors this year. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, senior uh, clarinetist, I think. Nice. Is she is she the only senior? Uh, no, oh no, there's, a there's uh, one that I can't Paige, right? Paige, 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 Paige the drum yeah. major. Yeah, she's been around here for I think it was drum major th- four years. Yeah. That Paige is. has a, a long oh. list of accolades too. For sure. Look, she's involved. That's only, a, only oh, rivaled yeah. by uh, Caleb and Kelvin. Caleb and Kelvin. Oh. <laughs> Jacko's uh, defense going up, trying to go against Tabitha's offense. Tabitha snaps the ball. Uh, is Ooh. that a fumbling? Is, is that, that a fumble again? No, I think. I don't know. What do they call on that? Yeah, that's gonna be a call. We need us a replay. I don't even see a flag. First and ten, Panther. Oh, what? Oh, what touchdown? Was what was that? What? What? What did you just call? Like we can hear them ever so slightly outside of this box, but it is very noise proof. All I heard I was Panther. Yeah. I look for. I I think that that was a a fumble and a. I think that they. I think took it was a back. fumble too. I think we didn't uh, gain gain possession of the ball. Again? Again. Again. Who who's the senior on the the cheerleading team? Is it just uh, one? I think it's only Selena. Or yeah, Jasmine as well? Is, or is she yeah. Uh, Selena and there's one more. Jasmine. Jas Jasmine, yeah. yeah. Jasmine Lewis and Selena. I don't know her last name. I should. She's on the show. Selena, um Don't ask me, I don't know. I lost it. I don't remember it either. I'll tell you this. If the band has their show on this side of the field, it's gonna be fine. It's untouched so far. Yeah. So it's gonna be just fine. And it'll be just fine. Not to mention, the band has been so amazing this year and working so hard. I, you should hear them at the end of the 400. Like, oh yeah. Every it's day. Astonishing. It's real. Cause like you you hear bands and a lot of the times high school bands you think like okay it's just you know, it's just high school band. But they're actually like they're on I a come up. Compete. They're on a come up, all right. They really are. They have competed, haven't they? I'm they, not sure. Too sure have, about that I one. Bet, I bet they won. There goes one of our amazing coaches. Coach yeah. McKenzie, looking happy as ever. Oh yeah. Pretty much. I love the back of his head. It does look really happy. <laughs> I, I know that he was like clicking his heels. Oh yeah. He was like, oh yeah. Please, please. He's clicking a heel. He's clicking his heels, all right, because he's bringing it home. He really is. He really is. Yeah, I get that I one. Is that a they nice joke? They might have. Right, I mean, they're well, good enough. Was... Air Josie Air... sends it to. Oh, oh, oh incomplete. What was that going for? Tableton thinking of that. Oh, man. Oh, what was that going for? It looks like it was going for number two again. Cameron. Cameron, look. Cameron is a reliable, like, backstop for that. Cameron for was sure. there. Cameron was there. Cameron had it. It's just he didn't have grip. Yeah, heavily contested. You, yeah, you definitely need a grip on that. And unfortunately, yeah. he lost it last second. Yeah. But hey, it's first quarter. It's the best you can say. And we're still winning, so st- t- keep that in mind. Still oh, winning. Yeah. Still winning. Chaco, offense coming up. Ready to offset the off uh, the defense. Not oh. to jinx it, but I'm Josie honestly we have a bit of a number, cushion. Ooh. Oh, what was that? I didn't get it. Looks like he was trying to send it to number eleven to Jalen Brown. No, but man. it just it didn't get there. A little too low. Throws a little too low. Not uh, everybody's perfect. I believe that's uh, three and ten. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. But no, I do believe it's three and ten. I'm not fiddling with my costume. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so Chaco, we got that on camera. Talented gaining a little bit of a little bit of traction. Oh, just a little bit. looks like we got Miss Peebles coming up here to steal shale away. All righty, thank you guys for having me. No problem at all. Love, Love having you. Love sitting up here talking with you guys. Oh, I'm opening a drink. I'm so excited for this game. I, I am as well. I think I'm, everyone is. I'm, I'm excited I'm, to see the rest of it. That's for sure. Joseph snaps the ball, runs it. He's looking for a place to send it. Sends Ooh, it to me. baby. Ooh. Oh. That was close. That was so close. So close. It looks like it was heading for Nebrinsis again. BJ, it would have been a nice, reliable person to hand it to, but it, it was, again, heavily contested. It just it wasn't there. It wasn't there, and I believe that that will bring it into a fourth and ten. Fourth and ten. So, look, if I, were, if I was Jacko, I would just punt it. Yeah. I mean, there's no point there's in no, for it. There's no losses there. Really, there is. I mean, if, if anything, we'll see their offense. For once. For once. For if for anything, once. we'll get a glimpse at their offense. Oh, is this... What was this? What's oh, going I on? Guess here? I, I must have been wrong. I oh. Guess it, oh, I guess I must have been wrong. I think they're going for it. They're going for it. You called it. I could look. I didn't expect it to happen. Oh no. Okay, they're going for the field goal. They're oh, okay, goal. okay. Ada Marsalis going for the field goal. He's a reliable person, but he, he his kick does always curve a little bit to the right. I did notice that during soccer season as well. 
Ooh, oh, most. just a little short for Aiden. Oh man. But you know that was at like about the 26, 27th. Yeah, yeah and you are really heavily yeah. under pressure compared to the uh, uh, what is it called? It's slipping my the tongue. One point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the conversion. Yeah, the conversion. That's what I'm talking about. And um, you are very heavily pressured because they are gunning on you right there. I think if he had a little bit more time there, he could have definitely cleared it. Definitely, definitely. We're we're about to close out this first quarter. Four minutes and 40 seconds left on it. 27 for Chatco. Zilch for the other team. Fat old goose egg. No. And maybe after the uh, the second quarter, I can go ahead and get our other commentator. She was filling in for uh, Jared in journalism class for taking pictures of the football team for the yearbook page. And uh, I recently texted her, and maybe she'll be here in a minute. Tobleton sends Tobleton? it. Sends it. Absolutely nowhere. nowhere. Oh, my gosh. Bland. Have you tried the Meta Moon Prime? I have. I bought an entire case. Did you? I almost drank an entire case. It is so Doctor, can I see you at sick bed one? This isn't looking good. He's dehydrated. Oh. Vitals aren't staying in. Well, Miss Panther, I need you to stay down. Doctor, can I see you in your office? I don't know what to do. I'm thinking of everything. There's nothing left. There's one thing. I know what you mean. All he needs is a shot of prime. Welcome, welcome. What did you miss? Nothing. Nothing much. You didn't miss much. Chaco's still winning as usual. Yeah, Tableton moving up the field, though. Moving up the field. was I didn't even catch wind of what was happening there, huh? What uh, was going down? It looked like, okay, so basically it looked like Tableton was trying to send it as far down the field as it can. Uh. But they gave up on that strategy on their second down and just started oh, moving Oh, nice up. snap to six. Tableton. He hands it off straight through the middle. One absolutely takes him down. Andravius Hall. See, they thought that they'd go back. Oh, but that's a flag on oh, the flag. Oh, a flag. What was that for? A flag. It might have been for holding, but it Oh, be my God. They better not. That was a clean hit, and I can see it from up here. Ref's I, down there. Look, even without 20-20 vision, I can see that. I'm telling you. Without my glass, but that's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. This is a really good flavor. Oh, yeah. I, I love that flavor. Meta Moon. I love that. My ice Pop. Ice Pop. That sounds really good. This one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like a, the, what is it called, Rocket Pops? Rock, oh, yeah, I love those. Bomb Pops, that's Bomb what it is. Bomb Pops, you get them from the ice cream man with the truck. Man. Oh, yeah. Love they used that. to never stop at my house. I'd have to chase them down. Oh, so that was against, yeah, that was against Oh, Tobleton. that was against Tobleton, like really? Losing yardage. I wish we could uh, really hear what they were saying down there. Like, uh, we had, like, uh, headpieces so we could hear what the reps are calling, and it gives us a little bit of insight on what's going on instead of just having to wonder. Nope. Hopefully, one of these games we can get uh, Mike on the rest. Mike on, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That'd be really anyways, good. You have Toppleton lining up. Snap it, sends it to number eight on Toppleton, and it's, ooh, taken down. Taken down, just shy of the 30 yards. Looked like they got 36. I mean, uh, 26, my bad. 26, 27, somewhere around that. Still, Chaco's defense. They think that they can fight back against holding, defense. We're holding in, baby. Look, if you try and fight back against defense, what do you think, what do you think happens, Gavin? Uh, you get shut down, baby. You get shut down? Shut down right in your tracks. Dead in the water. Dead in the water. Very, very good. Now, Gavin, real quick, just as they figure this out, I want to ask you, is it a good time to start playing Christmas music? No. I hate Christmas music with a passion. It's Gavin, just with Halloween. That's my favorite holiday. Gavin, stick to... Stick to, Stick to commentating. Wait, you are Mariah Carey, uh, a writer? Oh, I writer? love her. Toppleton, oh, oh, almost a catch. That would have been, that would have been almost game-changing for Toppleton. No, if for sure. That. I think that would have been their first, and if, might I dare and say only touchdown? Only. That is a little mean, and I don't want to count my uh, chickens before they hatch, but 
And that was the correct use of that. Yeah, by I the way. Not, thank you. I, I couldn't <laughs> get that out a while ago, but that would have been at the 55 yard. Yeah, that would have been game changing. That was a really nice throw and almost a nice catch, but Chaco's just always there. Always. Chaco's always there. If you expect him not to be there, so there's he, not a hole filled. There's not a hole that isn't filled. Not a pocket that is left unattended. And that's thanks to Coach McKenzie. Oh, for sure. Coach McKenzie, all the way. Coach McKenzie and these very insightful and knowledgeable players. Been Definitely. playing the game for many years, watching it, taking notes. Even, I'm sure we have some. Uh, what are they? Uh, college spotters. What are they called? Appleton sends it. Goes for the run, but oh, check is going to stop Stopping that. it dead in the tracks. Dead in the water. Easily. Huh. You know, look, we can keep saying it and keep saying it, but until they start to realize it, you can't play back against Jacko's defense. Can not. And it's always like that. It's a losing battle. I, say really we, I keep saying we're closing out on this quarter, but it is inching away. Very, very close. We're very close. Two warning. We're at 2 minutes 45 seconds. Mm. Home, Jacko, 27 points. Tableton, looks like Zero. Did they go for the punt? Kick it. Whoa. That was a that was an awkward play. That, that was, was a awkward. very awkward play. I almost don't even know what to say about it. I don't know what they were going for, but either way, Chaco's offense taking the field yeah. once again. This time having a little bit of a break. Oh, I was gonna say it would be nice to see their offense. We did see their offense, but it is the same as their defense. I forgot. There's only two subs. <laughs> same as their defense, not all different two. formation, same team. Look, Central Tabaton, this is all in the name of good sportsmanship. Looks like number eight is taking the seat on the Tobleton team, Tobleton's team. He didn't take too uh, kindly to that to that contested uh, catch. He did not He did not like that one bit. And Tobleton, if you're watching, this is all in good sportsmanship. All in good sports. I, I mean, if we, were, if we were commentating for Tobleton, we'd be dogging on the other team too. It's just all in good fun. We don't really Jones mean anything by it. Oh, straight to BJ. BJ, BJ. running it. Real running reliable. It. He's going. He's going. Hey, and that's touchdown. a touchdown, touchdown. baby. Touchdown, chat. Look. It's I really love those lights they installed. It really gets the team pumped when you get a touchdown. It really does. <laughs> you look at the parents. They are, like, in shock. Uh-huh. Oh, there so goes our guest running down there. There goes the the Chaco Panther, Shale Peebles. Not a the Chaco Panther. I think recently we pulled that out of an old broom closet. We didn't know where it was for a good many <laughs> years. Good many. Yeah, no, it was gone for like three years. My, oh, what's going on? Yeah. Look, Ada Marcellus going back up. Kevin, I already know what you're going to say. I know what I would have said. Oh, what go ahead. Gonna happen? Oh, but he's going to send it straight down the middle, baby. Straight down. Straight down. Ada Marcellus. And I can back. actually see our other commentator. That was her right there that was know, waving at us. Me. Okay, okay. I was like, we have a new commentator. New commentator coming. I, I always feel it awkward when they catch me looking at the TV screen. I always <laughs> yeah, got to turn that way all, all the time. All the time. <laughs> but really, I'm looking at the TV screen so I can see the play a little bit better. And when they're over there, it's kind of hard. But I will lean in. It's kind of hard for you because you got to see over me, too. No, you're good. You're good. We know. Marcellus. It's a tale as old as time, really. We don't even need to look. It's Aiden lining up oh. for the kick. And it, it's uh, Caleb Floyd going in to hold it for him. Holding. Holding. Go to holding. And you, you want to know who's snapping that bad boy? Who's snapping that bad boy? Slade, Slade Parker, baby. Slade Parker going in with Ada Marcellus. Handsome, beautiful Slade Parker up in there. He asked me to say that in class <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Handsome and beautiful. Uh-huh. Oh. Sends it, uh, Ada Marcellus. Doom, baby, straight down the middle. What did you expect? An even more perfect kick. I bet you that thing almost went through our concession <laughs> stands. But what did you they expect, just, though? I don't, I don't know what they uh, they expected, but I tell you what, shout out to the concession stands. We recently got card readers. We recently got card readers, and I tell you what, it has been inching away at my uh, my savings. I had no idea they had that, so I'm like, I'm amazed. Oh, I know, I know. I never keep cash on me at all, so it really saves me money. But now that they got it, I'm absolutely a fiend for those hot dogs. Ryan, technical director, what do you think of the game? The TD. It's good. He's smiling. Oh, he's smiling. What are you eating? Skittles. What do you mean? I'm not under the desk. They just kind of magically appear whenever I reach under there. What flavor are they? Lemon. That's crazy. That's my favorite.
Share the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. And we're back. Aiden perfectly lining it up. Boom! Oh my gosh. Was that that looks oh. like it was on purpose actually, I'm not gonna lie. It, it did, it really looked like he made oh, that. Oh, oh my gosh, Nine absolutely dragging him. That was Akeem right there. Damon. Damon? Yep. His Damon. brother is an amazing football player, basketball player, and soccer player. The Damon. Trap. Yeah, trap. Amazing, amazing. Look, he played with Aiden. When you play with Aiden, it's gonna, you know what's gonna happen. You, you know already know. Happen. You already know. And they were, I think that was a good fake right there. I think that was intentional. They're usually everybody over there on that right-hand corner, and he bombed it to the left. They had nothing to do there. They had to scramble. That's what you really want to go for. You really want to scramble. Really want to throw them off, you know? What do you think about Aiden, Ryan? Our technical director, Ryan, I just want to give him a shout-out, doing all, doing pretty much everything behind the scenes. Minus the camera work, who I also want to thank our camera workers. Looks like we have Michael Mellick out there today. Caden uh, Kate. Pop. Caleb Powell. Caleb Powell. Caleb yeah. Powell. I'm not sure who this uh, this person is. I can't quite tell. Uh, it's the head. I can only see the head. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's all right. We'll have to uh, we'll have to shout him out later. We'll oh, we're missing an amazing play here. What's going on? Jeez. Number 17, 17 actually billowed through the defense there. He, we were passing him around. You saw that? It, we passed him to like three different people. And I'd like to. No, I'm not going to shout you guys out. I'm going to call you out. You guys had crazy bread without me? Look, Little Caesars to go? Late. Look, I was I late. Didn't I didn't I, have any. Oh, okay. It makes you feel better. I was, I was doing an uh, on-site report and I didn't have any. I can't complain. I, I just came home from eating uh, uh, Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes. It was my grandma's birthday. Uh, they have the banquet, the frozen meals with that. That's my favorite. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Pelton. Oh, almost loses possession of the ball. Oh, my gosh. Check was pushing it back. Almost. So close to a fumble. 17 just keeps trying to push through mid. If, it, if that would have been just one or two seconds longer, that would have been a fumble. Would have been a check. Out. Yeah, yeah. Travelton. You guys can't hear it. Uh, just not picking up. But I am absolutely hearing the cheers from down there. And this is a soundproof room. And this is a soundproof room. Soundproof Mind room. you, we can barely hear the the like the sound of the dude on the the overhead speakers. And it's, the the crowd is louder than him. In a small central t Georgia town, too. Yeah. It's amazing. Middle of nowhere, baby. Middle, but I tell you what, nowhere. we're the only ones doing this. Only once. Only once. Number one. You won't find it nowhere else. Film club in the world. Lining it back up for the snap. Looks that like their main quarterback is uh, six, handing it off to one. Throws oh. For a run. One doesn't run. Was that one? No, that was 17 again. He didn't All go way, through mid. Run. Yeah, he was trying to. He didn't go through mid. He was trying to go around. Uh, could not. Would you not. Can't do that. You can't find a pocket. No with pocket. Chaco. No pocket. Can't find a pocket. No stone left unturned with the Chaco team. There really isn't. Really isn't. And I recently figured out that most of the football players actually do watch these. Because they'll come to me in class and they'll say <laughs> things that I said. And I'm like, what are you talking about, man? They're like, you don't remember? I was like, no, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember the one thing you said in a three hour long. Broadcast. Yeah, I definitely don't. Tell oh, sends what? It back. It's at the. Just shy of the 50. Looks like it's on the 49. Just shy. Chaco's offense, what are they doing? What are the check offense doing? I don't know what they're doing. Taking the field, that's what they're doing. Oh, they are taking the field. I wouldn't even. It's best to just assume what? the offense is on this planet. I love so, these. All right, Chaco media passes. I could have used this earlier when I just absolutely walked past the ticket booth. <laughs> they look at me like I'm crazy. But I swear to God, I just walk right past it. Hey, I always feel like more respected with it too. I'm like, oh yeah, wow. check like, a media pass, buddy. Check you know that. <laughs> we got a lot of cool people on here. It looks like the entirety of Film Club, huh? Almost, almost the entirety. Some we have some uh, people who have moved. Brian Haiku. We also had uh, not Dylan Clark. Who was it that moved? It was Dylan. Dylan uh, Bodle. Dylan Bodel. Okay, I'm uh, thinking wrong because. Uh, Dylan Clark's brother is actually in Film Club, Jacob Clark, and it looks like we are missing him in this photo as well. That's okay. You know what? We hope that they're watching now. Yeah, we and do. If you're watching now, we love you. you still Shout out to you. So. I'll be going to Brian's house uh, soon enough. He lives in Texas now. You should film that. I should film Send that. Send something in. Send something in. Send a skate reel. I'm going to be out of my cast a few days before I go. I tell you what, I have been fiending to skateboard. Fiending. I'm not, fiending. I've been craving it. You mean fiending? Yeah. Fiending. My bad, I didn't mean to put the D in there, boss. Uh, I have been craving 
skateboarding. And I haven't been able to because of my camera. Why don't you show the camera some of the, some of the markings? Oh, I got some cool right stuff there. They can't really see awesome. it. And we're about to cut to commercial real fast. I'll show you guys after these short messages. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side, the sunny side of the street. What are you eating? Skittles. What do you mean? No, they're the best. They just kind of magically appear whenever I reach under there. What flavor are they? Lemon. That's crazy. That's my favorite. Share the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. We're back. We're back. That was it. Two amazing plays that was unfortunately missed during the commercial. I want you to say what the first one was. Explain. The first one? Oh my gosh. He didn't see it, but well, they can't see me right now. We're not cut to us. We're back on the field, but I tell you what, he passed it. Eric Josie passed it to number three. He passed it to Norvell, and Norvell juggled that ball in the air with one hand, caught it with the rest of his body, got it just shy of the 50 yards. Oh, and it looks like he did the same thing, except this time it hit the floor. Exactly. What was that second play looking like? Oh, 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 what's going on? It was caught by uh, Maddox running downfield. Oh, my oh, you gosh. you can't catch him, though. Oh, man. He stopped at the... At 56, the, 57? Just about, just about. Oh, oh, and we're back, so I'm going to go ahead and show you these things. I got a little S right there in flames, like ghost face right here. Just ghost face. And on this side, we got a skull with flames, the Anarchy A. We got a few, uh, we got a few uh, names here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slate Parker. Guess what happened while they were gone? We're in the second quarter, baby. We're in the second quarter. Two minutes deep into it, actually. Two minutes deep, and we didn't even say anything about it. Well, I mean, we were on commercial. We couldn't really say anything. Uh, we're at the same uh, points here. 34, Chatco, and... Go ahead. No, I was just... Okay, okay. Zero, <laughs> Tobleson. Zero, Tobleson. That, that is a full game score. Yeah. Not a, not a one-quarter score. Yeah, imagine this as a um, a high school football game, actually. A high school this football. ain't no NFL, baby. High school football. Look, this is something that you see, like, between the Dolphins and the Eagles. Yeah. That's what you see. I could see that. I couldn't see this between Central Charlton and Shackle Panthers. But you know what? We're seeing it now, so. I was going to put in a little, uh, little uh, joke there that nobody would get except me, Jared, and uh, Ryan. Uh, Ryan. 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 Ryan uh, there's this guy who does uh, NFL, like after the games, he posts TikToks, and he's always like, for instance, he's like, 49ers, what <laughs> happened? How did how did you lose to the Cincinnati Bengals? I love him. I love him with all my heart. Oh, that just shows you how much they needed five people to push back that one dude. Was that fourth down? Uh, I believe it was, honestly. They don't really change it on the, uh, the Panthers scoreboard. It does get on my nerves a little bit, but I mean, hey, uh, it is what it is. Can't uh, have everything. Can't have, you can't have your cake and eat it too. No, yeah. Or something like that. Whatever they say. Whatever, Whatever they say. Out. Beggars can't be choosers. That's an easy one. The horse's name was Friday. Something I don't remember that one. <laughs> uh, Eric Josie. Sending it in. Ooh, ooh. No, oh, over Central Tabit. Oh my God, Bruza just jumping over 59. Did you see that? Jumped over Did him I like he was. It? Looked over him like he, <laughs> like he was a track star. <laughs> jumping over them hurdles. <laughs> I, I tell the track coach. Who's the track coach? It's Copeland. Oh yeah, baby. Copeland is eyeing him now. Shout out to Copeland. He has a track named after him. Entire Copeland track. track. Oakland track. I don't know where it's at. Somewhere in Alabama, I believe. The most metal thing I've ever heard. He is he is an um an amazing 
coach. I think he recently just retired from track, and he's doing long, not long distance, but um, cross country. Cross country. Yeah. Joe, is he trying to send it back downfield? Bruza takes it again. Looks like there's a flag Ooh. on play. What was that? False start. False yeah, start. Okay. False start against the Panthers. Did look like Bruza started off a little early, did it not? Yeah, okay. I, I could see that. Like, yeah, everything. Every, you gotta, you gotta count your wins and you gotta count your losses. For sure. Right? And our wins are leagues above our losses. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Drinks gave me the, uh, the hiccups here. Uh, excuse me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I feel like this quarter is going to buy a lot faster than uh, first quarter. It is. Well, it's because I had to stop the clock so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's shady. You do have stuff. to take that into account. It's different in every sport. Josie, like, just looks so in serious. Doom. About this. He's faked Sends him out. To number two, that's going to be Cameron Swanson. Oh, my Cameron's going to send it down sending past it. the 30. He's All the, the way? He's All the, the way? And he's oh, gonna my gosh. Ball. What is that? The, the seven-yard line, it looks like. Seven to eight. Just, just around there. Just I tell you what, he was faking it. He was faking it off to Artelius. I mean, my bad. He was faking it off to Andravius, which is Bruza, and then he went uh, for the the fake and gave it to Cameron. Look, I'm just I'm in so much shock because like, Gavin, you need to talk for me because I can't today after all that. <laughs> there really isn't. We're commentating. We got so much time left. We're, there's no much. No, no, dang, there's not anything more to say. Honestly, other I mean, than just Chaco is doing good. Chaco's doing what it. Okay, not to uh, not to reference the uh, baby, but Chaco is given what it was supposed to give. Not many are gonna get that one. But <laughs> and Drake is all stopped short of the. Of the five down to the two yard line. You stopped just shy. Just shy. Okay. Just shy. My bad. Just shy. Now look. In the position that they're, they are in, even if they can't get to the end zone, even if they can't get the touchdown, you're still getting the field goal Yeah. with Ada Marcella. Unless you can get that fumble or you can get that interception. Eric Josie's going to run Eric's going, going in for himself. the run. Oh, and it looks like he gets it. It looks like. Eric Josie over the goal line. Over the goal line, just barely. Touchdown, Checo. I'm telling you. Like, there they go back at it again with them lights. Oh, we forgot to shout out Brody. Brody is also down there filming oh, for us, huh? Brody! Now, if we can get a shot at Coach McKenzie real quick, if I were him... I'd be giddy. Look at him. We got <laughs> we got uh, Bruce's dad down there Literally looking giddy as well. Speech. And I love when we get a touchdown how energetic the cheerleaders are. We have two flag runners just absolutely marching down the field. March up. What's good? Gavin... What's going to happen? What do we need to commentate? We might as well go silent next field goal. I'm going to tell you. Right Completely now, silent. And he gets, gets the point. Extra point. Boom! Oh, was that actually off? I don't know. Did we jinx it? I think we jinxed it. Ah, uh, we jumped. I mean, what do we need that extra point for? 40 0? 40. No, we got it. We got, we got it. it, baby. Look, even when. <sighs> Where are the loss of words, honestly? I yeah. Mean, I tell you that halftime. We got the air conditioner blowing right behind us, and I tell you what, it's getting hot in here. I don't know. I, it's getting hot in here from the game. Yeah, honestly. that's what I'm talking about. It's getting. Oh, I thought you were talking about seriously. Yeah. <laughs> My And I tell you what, it's gonna get hotter in that uh, uh, locker room. That locker room. That locker room. That locker room. They're gonna tear them up. That coach, I can just. I'm waiting. If I was that coach, no offense, I would quit. Cause like at this point. What is there that you can do? And of course, Central Tableton, don't take any offense. This is all just in good sports. All in good sports. It's all a fun joke. And I tell you what, next game, you can even send us your players, and we'll give you good commentary, too. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any names for you guys. We just have numbers. We really do. Look. Marcella going for the return. Woo! Looked like he had a little bit of a... Jeez, did you see how far? It was a bullet straight it, There to was Tableton. no arc to it. It was just straight. Moving oh, my back. gosh. That's something you never want to do. You never want to move back on the ground. Right. That's no. the answer. Yeah. And guess what he just did? Guess. 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 Guess what I, uh, he's pulling out that uh, off. Moving back on the field. What? He moved back on the field. That's what he did. Tableton. Oh. I thought you were talking about what the, we're pulling out right here. Oh, no. They're doing that, too. Yeah, we're pulling out <laughs> the defense, buddy. Defense. Defense. Now, look. He did, he did move it back, didn't he? Like, what, five, ten years? Something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Our referees. Oh, they're talking it up. <laughs> they're mucking it up, all right. 
I just see right in the middle of the circle, wow. both of them just like, you dropped it, you And we've heard, heard no timeouts from their coach. You haven't, which is... Thus far. Not really a great sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Brody staring me right into my eyes lovingly. Did you see that? Oh, speak of, did, did they, they just call timeout? Oh, well, speaking of, yeah, speaking you know, we're of, wishing it into existence here, baby. You see, uh, our players don't really look too, uh, too scared, nah. to say the least. They're very nonchalantly walking off the field. They know who they are. They know what time it is. They know who they are. Number it's four. game time. Yeah, Rella Jackson. Woo! They look tired, I will say that. Oh, they yeah. do look tired. Number 24, Brian, holding his own right there. He is looking a little tired. We got number 57 just walking off the field, too. Whoa. Who is that? That's going to be Isaiah DeMunn. That's going to be uh, Trap, as I referred to earlier. Trap? That's what we call him. I'll tell you, look, if I was a senior and this was a potential last game for me, I'd, I'd, be, going, I'd be going hard. I'd exactly. be going hard. Because, like, don't catch your egg before they hatch. We don't want to jinx it. We don't want to jinx it, but. Saying it without saying it. Saying it without saying it. 41 for the people who are just now joining in. Time left. We have seven minutes and 31 in the second. Oh, yeah. What are, what's the points, Gavin? I, I want to hear you say, what, what are the points? What are the points? What are the points? 41, Chatco. To what? Zero. Tableton. 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 And that's in the second quarter. Seven minutes and 31 deep. Tableton sending it. Uh, stop dead in the water. Look. Stop dead on the line of scrimmage. The defense isn't adapting. That's what you need yeah. to do when you play this game. You need to adapt, overcome. Well, and not to pry on things I've said before, but uh, I think that also comes down to the amount of people that they have on their team. There's not a lot of people to switch out to adapt with. You really got. I know you really have to adapt your playing style, and that's a little bit harder for some players out there. That's why you're supposed to have like multiple people to switch out for. You know their playing style as their coach, and you know what they're good for and what they'll fill in. Look, I will give some words for Tableton. Some good words. Some good words. It, it is difficult because you're by yourself. Yeah. And while you do have to pay attention to your teammates, you need to be worried about yourself. You need to be worried that you're doing well. Yeah. Tableton sends it. Oh, my gosh. That, that almost, he was trying to cr cradle that thing like a baby. He didn't like put his body baby. in front of it at all. He tried to. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see it? I think it was number 77, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we are excited that we're winning. We also have to think. These could, there could be seniors on top of them that this could also be their last game. Yeah. So you also kind of have to sympathize for them. You do, yeah. This you isn't know. their senior night, of course, because it is at our home field, but it is their senior year. And I hope, I wish them luck on their senior night. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But tonight. But tonight? <laughs> oh. Tonight, baby. It is <laughs> our game. Left. Somebody left an uneaten breadstick on the table right next to us. That and is mine. I started it's eating. you. It was. So you did have crazy I bread. I have pizza, though. Okay. I started eating it, and then, I, and then our, uh, our TV. Oh, oh, we missed the snap, and it looks like that was a fumble? I don't know, because he didn't. He didn't fully catch it, but it did look like he dribbled it a little bit. He had it in his hands, and he dropped it for a second. But it might have bounced off of his hands uh, just the same. Chance Let's see what the refs are going to say about that one. It's all up to the refs. All up to the refs. Oh, and it looks like they did lose the yardage. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure what happened there. A lot of awkward plays this game. Yeah, a lot of awkward things are happening. And it does boil down to us not being able to hear the refs. It really does. It, straight to that. But yeah. Oh. Oh. Looks like, okay. Uh, going for the gonna kick. Replay it. Kicks it back. Uh, looks like they're going to stop that at about the... 40. No, it looks like it's going to be the. Yeah, 41. Yeah, just, just shy of the 40. I would say. Was that a flag? Oh, no, no, no. That's where, okay. That's where they're going to put the next line That's at. That's good. We want that. Yeah. And I would like to hear your opinion on something. How do you say scrimmage? Scrimmage. Scrimmage. I don't, I don't know, but we, when we're practicing, we have enough people to, uh, in soccer to play full games. Mm -hmm. So we call it scrimmaging, but I call it, I call it scrimmage. Yeah. Everybody says it's like a skirmish or skirmish. something. I don't. No. They all make fun of me because I say scrimmage. No. Well, maybe in soccer, but I don't know. Yeah, I would think it's all all the same. It's all the same meaning. I don't know. I've never heard skirmish. I've never either. But that's that is kind of how you spell it, though. It's definitely skirmish. a southern thing, though. Yeah, might be. 
like up in Pennsylvania, we call creeks. Oh yeah, that's a nice, nice shot of uh, Slade Parker there. Slade Parker in a senior year. Eric uh, what were you gonna say? Oh, two. nice catch Cameron's from Swanson. Cameron. Stop dead in his tracks on the 40-yard line. Hate to see it, but what can you do? You're moving up. Moving you know, up in the world. That's all we can ask for. for moving on up. And what were you gonna say about the creek thing? Oh yeah, so in Pennsylvania we call it crick. 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 That's very. It is all about dialect. Yeah, you hear because you know Pennsylvania Dutch here. Oh Down my by gosh! The crick. Look at that. Our oh. camera. Our... <laughs> they always get us when we're not looking. They always get no, us. No, no, no. I'm talking about our uh, oh. Go Panthers. <laughs> Who do we got in front of the? Someone. Someone <laughs> is passing in front of the camera that is capturing our uh, our know. what is it? Our scoreboard. That's what it is. My bad. Josie, he's looking looking for something to send it. Look. He's someone. going. He's calling it out to Cameron. Calling. Cameron? Oh, oh, just shy of it. It looks like two and twelve were having a battle right there. Twelve was also looking to catch that thing one handed. Eric didn't know what he was doing, but he tried his best. Yeah. That's and, all you can ask for. Okay, I shouldn't say that. He knew what he was doing. It's just it's he had to adapt. Yeah. It was, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was gonna be too far out of bounds by the time he had gotten to it, even if he was there. It he would have been throw it, away. it would have been hard to get it in. He had to throw it away before it was attacked. Something I've always wondered is, if someone throws the ball to you and you're out of bounds, but you catch the ball mid-air and jump back inbounds, is that inbounds or out? That's inbounds, right? I think it depends on the play, but Eric, Eric Jones is, is going to run it, it past and get a first down. Oh he's my gosh, going. he's gone. He's going to keep going. Is that? He's going to keep There's going. There's no way they let us get through that. There's what did he no get way. through, the pocket? He got through, he got through the side. Okay, here's what he did. He snapped it, saw that he didn't have any good receivers. They're going to call that a flag, though. They're calling that a flag. It might be a challenge. It might be a challenge flag. Okay, okay. But here's what he did. He saw that he had no receivers, and he needed to decide he on took that his opportunity. what he was going to do. He took you know his opportunity. He, he ran it, baby. He ran it. And it's hard to think about stuff like that. When you're the quarterback, you have to make those decisions. Yeah, it, it's not like you can just blame someone else for that. If you felt you need to make that decision and stick by it, win, lose, or draw. For sure. Through the ups and downs. Through the ups and downs. Through the ups and downs. I think our vocabulary has been getting a little better. Yeah. My ankles are a little cold right now. This chair is so high, it's making my legs high waters, my pants high waters. <laughs> oh, I just hit my face under the microphone. That's all right. I'll put my pants down a little bit. You know, $15 belt. You guys like it? Don't look at the coffee stain on my shirt. $15 belt. $15 belt. Uh, BB, baby. BB Simmons. Signed it himself. So it looks like uh, Josie got out of bounds at around the 40. Oh. And so they're just going to call it. It did look a little close there, huh? No, that's it was a, definitely close. That's okay. I mean, nothing we can't do again, right? Slade, Slade is always looking like an absolute brick wall out there. Slade. You are not getting through that. 75 is sitting there tooted up waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. Waiting. Slade Parker looks like he's getting uh, play time the entire game. Slade. Boom, Smart. he booms Off it straight the all the way to number seven. Yeah. Oh, oh my so god. Close. Number seven. I'm telling you. Crafton, that's, yeah, that's Crafton Brooks. Had Crafton it in his hands, Crafton but then it fell Crafton out. Falls. You gotta thank gravity yeah. for that. Yeah, you got to. Isaac, Second good old man. Isaac. Good, you gotta grab it. And I tell you what, that, that leads us also into inertia. Inertia. An object in motion tends to stay the in motion, motion unless acted on by an, an equal or an opposite force. You know who the opposite force is? What? Slade. Slade Parker. Slade. That's the opposite force, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. We just, we, look, it's Slade's last year. We, we got to call him out. out we need to shout out some other people, too, I tell you. Yeah. We know. got some amazing, amazing, uh, hold on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we got some amazing. Back, Eric. Eric sends it down the field, too. Number four. Number four is. What? Oh, my bad. You're good. The Brentus Jackson. DJ. DJ. DJ takes it to about, what is that? Uh, uh -huh. Some other amazing players. Van Keithius? We call him Rambo, Rambo around the school. He, this is his last year at Chaco. He's been an amazing player. I think he he plays on basketball too, does he not? I think I he did he last does. year. I think he did. We got Bruza and Dravius Hall. His dad's a coach, also the mm -hmm. ISS teacher. An amazing dude. Nice guy. The teacher really, and like with the coaches, they really make the student. Yeah. Jalen Harris. We got Jakeem, too. Jakeem Harris. Josie. He's feeling the pressure. Just throw it away. He needs to throw it away. Throw it. Oh. 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 Took his he helmet doesn't. off. His That's helmet crazy. falls off at around the 40. So I think the issue with that is he, he was feeling the pressure, and he just he needed to throw it away. There's only so much you can do, man. There's not really many complaints you can have about that. He's been uh, he's been letting it, letting it rip all game, really. 
He really has. I mean, like, he's been on the money. He's... How do I say this? He's been choosing his receivers just as well, and it relies on the receiver to be able to catch him. Yeah, and, and he's been choosing them right. We also have the big bad Bobby King. Bobby. That's what, that's what uh, <laughs> Coach Kemp usually calls him. Bobby King Jr. We got Kelvin is a senior year. Cameron Swanson. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Runs it through. Number three. That's Marvell Maddox. Oh, but pushes him back to about the uh, the 37. Oh, man. This chair's a little uncomfortable. If is it? Me. I think we need a little lean back motion, you I'm know? Also a boy, here. Yeah. Yeah. I think the netting ball. is nice, but I wish there was like a lean back yeah, option, like one this. tick, because I, I find myself always going like this, leaning on it like yeah. this. Too far away from the microphone at times when I do that. Yeah, I catch myself because I go all the way back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And I go all the way back here, so the audio is probably. The audio is all messed up, I tell you what. I know Woodward's going to get. <laughs> he's he's going to have a, a <laughs> match with me. Hard time doing this when we get uh, out of this box here, huh? It's Lining late. up for the. Oh. oh, my. What was that even on? I didn't false see. Start. Uh, did you? Who yeah. was who false started? False start. Man, I, don't, I couldn't see uh, the number, but I knew that it was a false start. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see anybody moving, but it, I, I was really focused on uh, that snap in the middle there. Snap, oh, yeah. I, look, with Slade Parker, you don't even need to worry about it, do you? No, no. He's been doing this for four years. Four whole years. Four. Slade's going to send it back to Eric. Eric's going to send it down to... BJ. BJ's going to oh, oh. try and find his way through. Try and find his way through. Oh, right Stop. on the 30-yard line. Right at it. Right at it. I don't know about you, and I, I, I just I'm, I just remembered this that Christmas quote you said earlier about how you hate Christmas music. Yeah, I'm still angry. About that. You're still angry. You don't like Mariah. I mean, you don't I like okay. Last Christmas you I gave me my heart. heart. I mean, yeah. Wham. I I love that song. There's only oh. a select few Christmas songs I can really enjoy. Eric's gonna try and make it through. Oh my gosh. He tried, look, he tried to. He made it five yards, I think. It's not bad. Not bad. He didn't have any open receivers. He tried to do the job himself. Yep, yep. Ooh. Is that going to be the end? I think that's halftime, baby. Is that halftime? I'm not quite sure. I can't really see the... Uh... If it's halftime, I want to quit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, and I guess that is halftime. So that'll take us into halftime. That'll take us into halftime. An amazing, amazing first half. What do you got to say about that? Gavin, literally, from the first pick six, in the, it was a second play, it was uh. a pick six. And I remember, it was just me, and you were just about to walk in. Yeah. And I was just trying to, like, get myself situated when it happened, and I didn't know how to react. And then it just kept getting better and better. 41-0. They're building on what they built, huh? They really are. Well, uh, what, is it? what is it? Building on their foundation. And it's McKenzie's first year, isn't it? Uh-huh. And he's bringing, he's doing this. That's it is his first year. It looks like our amazing, wonderful band is uh, getting prepared to do our... Our usual, uh, what is it? Uh, what do they call it? Marching Recital? Chuck? Marching chuck? I don't know. I don't really. They don't really march. You know, I'll tell you. So I was actually in marching band. Were from, you? Uh, I think it was. I was in band from sixth to eighth grade, and when it got time to march and all that, uh, since I didn't do the band camp, I had to catch the flags. Oh. The color guard. That's what I had to do. But yeah, you know. We have a cross country state meet. State. Oh yeah, cross country. That's going to be uh, hosted by what's his name, Coach Copeland. We call him Goatland. Goatland. The Goatland. I think that I think that's reasonable. reasonable yeah, that's him. reasonable to call him that. He he's an amazing science. I mean, not science. We math teacher. Though. They got to states. Yeah. They got to states and then drill team. It was either drill or raider. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think that was uh, raider. You want that water? No, I'm good. I got this. Uh, this oh, meta moon. Pocus pocus drugs are not the focus. I love that. I love pocus pocus. Love Christmas a little more though. Nice That's look at our students leading the way. Another person there, Slade, Slade Parker. Zoe, Zoe. Zoe. And we also have another senior on that. It looks like oh wait, is Jasmine a senior? I don't know. Jasmine's a senior? Okay, okay. But no, no, no. She. Oh, yeah. She might have been no, the secretary, being huh? Being right next to a school, being right next to Fort Benning, we got to think our veterans who are out fighting. Yeah, for sure. Either in a different country, in a different continent, entirely. It's just. It's a very necessary fighting. thing to have. It's really amazing. March Man is taking the field. Taking the field. You see. Uh, oh, what is. Oh, I feel so bad. I do too. I just said her name here. a minute ago. Oh. She literally asked me the other day uh, if I wanted to donate blood. Yeah. 
But anyways, yeah, sorry, marching man having a really good stance. Now really I feel good. really bad. Really good. You can see our drummers getting ready, get into their, uh, what is it, it's uh, parade, parade march? I could be wrong. Look, it was from 6th, 8th grade. I don't remember my marching man days. I remember I played the baritone. We have it right here. We have, for the seniors on the uh, the band, is uh, Jenna Berrios. Berrios? I think that's how you say your last name. I'm sorry if it's not. And then we have Miss Paige Compost. Paige Compost. With a long list of accolades. That's long list see. of accolades. We're not going to read them out here. I'm right kind of lazy. Uh, with the, I believe that's a clarinet? Or yeah, clarinet, clarinet. Clarinet? Yeah. Looking really excited uh -huh. with their senior sash on. I wish we could uh, hear them through this uh, soundproof glass, but unfortunately, as I said, it, it is soundproof. You can, you can definitely hear the drums, I tell you. Oh, yeah, you can hear the th drums. Let me tell you something. Them 808s definitely do got some kickback. <laughs> I was a baritone. Try I play the baritone? I remember one time they had all the newbies do a rendition of Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. And I did it, and the director almost stopped the game and asked me if I was playing the wrong song. I wasn't. I wasn't. That is crazy. She didn't stop. She didn't stop. She just, she got to me afterwards and she was just like, hey, uh, I just wanted to know, um, what were you playing? And we're like, we were playing Jingle Bells? So yeah, that was that. Uh, I quickly stopped that in eighth grade after I was told I needed to catch flags. Oh, Which nice. is definitely, like, it's not a bad job. It's just a big guy having yeah. to run and catch those flags. It definitely is a little challenging. I wanted to do this band, not color. I don't think so. Oh. In my little town in Pennsylvania, we have color guard. We do have color guard. I've seen them, but I think they uh, they're not showing up for the band today. Uh, that's unfortunate. I don't mean to keep bringing up Pennsylvania, by the way. Yeah. Like, Georgia, Chaco. It's I amazing love so here. Much. The only person I've ever like really. Uh, been friends with that has been in the band is uh, Jared. He used to play the saxophone and we used to make him play Kelpie G from Spongebob all of the time. And we actually do have our guest back here with us today. We're going to have uh, Shale Peoples back as the mascot. I am extremely tired. We can see it in your face. I you look don't... drained. You had to play Kelpie G. Uh... Matthew is still over here dying. We did. We had him play Kelpie G. You know, like in that one episode. Jared. It was like, bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Did he play the 